welcome to the featured video of Products Dynamic Pricing and Discounts for WooCommerce. The extension offers three major features that include Product Dynamic Prices, Cart Discounts Rules, and Gifts Offers. With the Product Dynamic Pricing feature, you can add product pricing based on an individual customer and user roles like B2B, wholesale, and general customers. You can also set product prices based on quantity ranges and display a tiered pricing table to let customers see the bulk price discounts to purchase more. The cart discount rules enable you to add discounts on cart level. You can set discounts based on various conditions like product in the cart, cart quantity, amount range, and more. By using the gift rules feature, you can offer gifts based on product or cart conditions like buy X, get Y, get X when cart amount exceeds $500. Let's start with the product dynamic pricing and see how it works. Go to Products and navigate to Product Pricing Rules. Click on Add New Product Rule to make new rule. Add rule title here for future reference. You can apply price change to the entire catalog or specific products and categories we will apply it to the clothing category. Select Dynamic Price Adjustment for Discount Rule Type. If you are about to add a discount based on quantities, you can enable this checkbox to show a tiered pricing table on the product page. Add rows here if you wish to add price adjustment for specific customers only. We will add discounts based on user roles here. Click on Add Row. From the first column, you can choose to apply price adjustment for all users or select specific user roles. Select from the four price adjustment types. Let's select Admin User Role here and 10% discount for quantity 1 to 10. Let's add another row and offer a 15% discount for 11 to 20 products. Just like this, you can add multiple rows to add discounts based on user roles and quantities. Furthermore, you can add more conditions, like allow discounts for customers who meet a minimum spent criteria. Select Rule Priority. Enable discount 24-7 or for specific days. Add Rule Start and End Date. Customize the custom message appearing before or after the discount is applied. We will leave them empty. Add Rule Priority. Hit the Publish button and let's go to the front end to see how it works. You can see the polo shirt has been discounted by 10% and a tiered pricing table is displayed. Since the discount is for a specific user role only, the guest user will see the standard price. The extension is compatible with variable products, allowing you to add different prices for different variations. Now let's go to the back end and add a cart discount rule. Click Add New Cart Rule to make a new rule. Add rule title here for future reference. You can apply discounts to the entire catalog or based on specific products and categories. Let's apply this rule to the music category only. From Discount Settings, you can apply discounts based on quantity or amount. Let's apply discounts based on quantity. You can apply price adjustments to specific customer or user roles. We will add adjustments for all users here. Let's add a discount of 10% for quantity 5 to 10, and in another row, offer 20% for quantity 11 and above. You can further match the customer's spent history. Add the rule priority. You can enable discounts for specific days. We will apply to all days. Add rule start and end date if you wish to apply price adjustment for a specific period of time only. Add a message to show before or after the discount is applied. These messages inform customers about the available discounts. Add the rule priority. Hit the Publish button and let's see how it works on the front end. We have added 10 quantities of both album and single products from the music category to the cart. 
The cart page is adding a 10% discount. Since we have applied a discount to the music category only, you can see the discount is applied to music category products only. Products total only instead of applying it to the entire cart total, which includes the cap price too. Let's go to the back end and now apply the rule to the entire catalog and hit the update button. You can now see the discount is applied to the entire cart instead of the music category only. Now let's go to the back end and add a gift rule. You can add different rules using both product pricing rules and cart discount rules. Let's add one using the cart discount rules. Add rule title for future reference. Select specific products and check t-shirts category. Select gift a product based on quantity. Select user role. We will apply to all users. Select product to offer as a gift. We will offer a free cap when customers buy five products from the t-shirts category. We will ignore the purchase history and keep this rule applicable unless turned off. Hit the publish button. Let's add a few products from the t-shirts category. On the cart page, you can see that as soon as the quantity of products from the t-shirts category exceeded five, the cap has been added to the cart as a gift. Now let's go to the general settings and see other customization options the extension offers. From the general setting tab, you can set default rules priority. For example, if you have added multiple discount rules, you can apply the one with the highest discount, lowest discount, or follow the priority set on rule level. Just like the product pricing rules, you can set different rule priority for cart level rules as well. You can choose to apply a discount to the regular, special price, or ignore the discount if the product already has a special price. When you have both cart level and product level discount rules applied, you can choose to apply both rules or just keep the product level discount rule to avoid giving double discounts. From the Table Settings tab, you can customize the table position and display it in a horizontal or vertical layout. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.